Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. My name is Mama Shahri bin Suhaimi. I'm from J4 EM 1104A. I'm from group N4 and today I will do an experiment F2 and the title is stability of floating bodies. Let's we go for the objective. The, the objective for this experiment is to determine how the floating characteristic of the putun change as it is loaded with the with weight and lift and the second one is to determine the metacentric height of a putun and to investigate its stability for the apparatus we have eight things that we need for the experiment the first one is the mass the second one sliding mass the third one linear scale Number four, adjustable mass. Number five, transverse shaft. Number six, the pontoon body, which is the dimension is 315 times with 180. And number seven, we have plumb line in the string. And the last one, number eight, we have a pendulum. For procedure, first we need to open the transverse adjustable mass and measure the weight of adjustable mass. The second one, we need to reassemble the adjustable mass to the puntu. <coughs> and the third one, we need to measure the hook set of the set of puntu body. Number four, positioning the sliding mass along with the mass to such the center of the gravity occur at the top of the puntu. This can be determined by using either knife edge <coughs> or by suspending from the light string around the mast. For the procedure number 5, we need to fill the water with tank and we have to carefully uh, take the puntun and float them ensuring that the adjustable mass is in uh, its central position. Next, we need to check the zero datum between plumb line and the scale. After that, we need to move the adjust move the adjustable mass to the right of the center in 10 mm and mm increment to the end of the scale, noting the angular displacement of the plumb line for each position. After that, we need to repeat for the movement of the adjustable mass to the left of the center, and with the exception of weight the adjustable weight and the emptying the refilling the volumetric tank we need to repeat the experiment 6 and we need to repeat the experiment for the step 6 until 8 for the sliding mass at different height at the mass of 50 mm at the height up the mass 50 mm 100 mm for the different center of gravity and then we need to record all the recording in the result sheet and then Lastly, we need the water in the sink can be discharged by opening the valve V7.
for this experiment we need to be carefully uh, doing the process because we need to prevent any errors that can be occur during the experiment and there are some types of uh, error can be happen during the experiment for example we have environmental errors this this error can be happen when the wind from the lab maybe can disturb the pendulum from stay in static position this maybe can make the angle result slightly disturbed and then we have instrumental errors the equipment such as linear scale maybe has a problem like inaccurate scale that will make the result is different with the sample given for the application uh, this experiment can be applied in the ship because the stability is important because the body in stable equilibrium state can return to its position when they slightly disturb this phenomenon can decrease the possibility from the ship from overturn when being hit by the wave in conclusion upon the considering the difficulty of recording data from this experiment it may be difficult to observe the concept of buoyancy the main cause of this complication is the use of the plumb box because <coughs> the difficulty to get an accurate reading the reading very very due to several factors including the times it takes to become a stationary and the height at it which it is read to improve <coughs> to improve this experiment it is recommended to use a pontoon apparatus with with an integrated accelerometer system with a digital readout this would provide the user that is an interface that give the fast and accurate reading thus helping reduce general error user error using the accelerometer level such as this would also decrease the time it takes for the pontoon to stabilize since the swinging weight of the plumb box would be eliminated a calibrated accelerometer would also be helpful in eliminating any inaccuracy that would come from the uncalibrated scale on the bottom of the pontoon the relationship and concept of the buoyancy may be easier to observe in laboratory setting once these changes are implemented that's all from me thank you very much